What's going on everyone? Got a brand new movie review for you guys today. Today I'm discussing The Oath. This is the brand new independent dark comedy which stars Tiffany Haddish and also Ike Bernholtz who's one of those guys that kind of pops in here and there in other comedies but he's the lead protagonist in this film but the most special part is is that he's also directing and writing this and this is actually his directorial debut. I was a little bit hesitant to see this film but I was also looking forward to it you never know what you're gonna get out of these and the trailers didn't hook me but I like the concept of what it was going about the oath is all about in a politically divided America a man struggles to make it through the Thanksgiving holiday without destroying his family I these political kind of things that go on you know we're in a very heavy political climate right now and I'm not trying to make this review political I don't care if you're left or right that's totally fine with me whatever you want to be that's fine I loved how this film tackled both sides and made it very realistic. And that's something that Ike did such a good job directing and writing into the script. That really is one of the strongest things about the film is the direction that he took. One, the pacing is very fluid. It's fast paced and it just keeps going and chugging along. There's never a slow or dull moment. This film falls at around an hour and a half and that's a perfect thing for comedies. And it just never felt like there was that dull moment where it kind of lagged a bit. No, it just kept going and it just ended like that and I loved it. It kept me entertained and engaged within what was going on. And like I said, this is a dark comedy. This isn't one of those comedies that you're gonna get all the big laughs out of and I like that. It, it hit these topics in a very relevant but also realistic aspect and making you feel very uneasy with all the tension filled moments it has with the family. Of course, we all know these people who frustrate us. There's there's things where we get in debates with political climates and different types of topics that are going on in today's world and the family aspects when they're arguing about it, you feel like you're there and Ike did such a good job placing you, the audience, with in the dynamic of the family and feeling like you're actually there and we're to the point where I felt uneasy and I felt kind of sick going what the hell is going on here but I felt it because it felt so realistic and it felt like you were really a part of this family. I like that it didn't just attack left or right it attacked both of them on a very individual kind of spot but also just tackling our society in general and just the frustrations that you can have with some people because Ike's character in here is very frustrating. He's one of those people that doesn't want to listen. He just wants to believe in his own thing and we know those types of people in our world who just spew out a bunch of stuff but don't care what you think and it was nice to see that because as frustrated as you get with his character his family gets frustrated too which is another great element that Ike brought the fact that he seriously put you into this family's Thanksgiving dinner and you felt like you were with them I loved what he did with this and it was a very strong thing that not a lot of directors can directly do so it gives a great performance but for me the one performance in here that nailed the whole entire film is easily Tiffany Haddish Tiffany Haddish not just brings her comedic sensibilities that we obviously know her from Girls to Rot, that we obviously know her from Night School no she's great in those. she's a fantastic comedian she was one of my favorite actresses last year in girls trip she nailed the role in this she actually didn't nail it she killed it she has such a wide range of emotions in this film because it is a dark comedy you have to get those dramatic moments going and there's one moment in particular where tiffany haddish is crying and it's so believable that i almost cried and i'm not usually the crier in films it takes a bit to get me to my emotional side when watching a film but tiffany haddish nailed it in those aspects where you really felt her character and felt her pain that she was going through with this family troubles and you know as funny as it is as funny as she can be in this film she also brings those dramatic sides and she killed it i can i want to see her more in dramatic stuff now i i loved what she did in this film everything was really balanced right because there is enough drama with the comedy within it a lot of the comedy in here is not that laugh out loud joker kind of scenario that you have within a lot of comedies today no it's that awkward tension filled comedy that you laugh because it feels so realistic and it was just placed in there. This isn't a laugh right type of movie. This is just a different type of comedy. Something that I haven't seen in this year yet. We've gotten Game Night, we've gotten Tag, and this is just another great addition to those comedies. This film is not perfect, and one of my big things about the film is the third act. The first and second act are really good, and they all tie together seamlessly. The third act comes in after they introduce two characters, and I didn't hate the third act, nor did I like it as much as I liked the first two acts. It just felt okay to me. I was still entertained and I was still engaged, but it just got away from the elements that I was really enjoying about the film. And the two characters that they pop in, there isn't enough to know about who they are and what they're doing there, but it just felt very abrupt, and I liked a little bit more to them. Besides that, I really enjoyed The Oath. I think The Oath is a very different type of comedy, 
from the last couple of years actually and i think it, it tackles a lot of great messages that at first you can feel like oh this is going to be pushed into your face but it doesn't it feels like it's just there settling in and boiling just like you're boiling with them watching this family getting frustrated feeling that uneasy tension at the dinner tables and i loved it tiffany haddish nailed and killed it and ike bernholtz directed the hell out of this film can now wait to see what the guy directs next or even writes so the odds said i'm gonna give the oath a b out the weekend of October 19th, so make sure to look out for a theater near you for where it's coming out on a wider release. But uh, guys, also, you guys new here, hit up Sandwich on Films also down below, because right down there you guys can get into advanced movie screens and also check out some movie news and even some movie reviews. Guys, of course, until next time, stay classy.